what is up guys and today I am so excited for this video we are coming out with the bracket for March Madness 2017 definitely one of my favorite times of the year um, so I just wanted to make a quick bracket for you guys show you some of the upsets I'm taking and um, so how my brackets gonna look so far I'm on the app ESPN TC tournament challenge and you get up to 25 brackets. I think most of you guys know that. But I just want to show you some quick <coughs> excuse me, analysis and what I'm thinking for this year's bracket. So, easy pick there. Villanova, the number one overall seed of the whole tournament. Then, I'm definitely biased to the Big Ten. So, I'm taking Wisconsin there. <coughs> Alright, so this is another um, matchup that could go both ways. I don't know why it's not popping up, but UVA and UNC Wilmington, um, the 5 versus 12. Um, I haven't really watched Virginia that much this year, and I heard UNC Wilmington's really good. But, you know, I think I'm going to take the... We'll take the upset here because um, a lot of experts think that's a good upset right there. So I'm going to take that. SMU was in the top 25 earlier this year, um, and I do like the way they play. I've watched a couple of their games. Um, easy pick there, Baylor. I don't know that much about New Mexico State, so I'm taking them. Marquette, South Carolina. Um, someone told me that Marquette was 0-7 against um, top 25 teams, and I'm not sure if that's true or not, but... I'm I'm taking the seven seed there with South Carolina. We're going Duke over Troy. I haven't even heard of Troy, um, so I'll look up that up. Gonzaga, another a number one overall seed. Um, and as most of you guys know, um, there's a gr couple great videos up on YouTube, just talking about what the odds are for each seed, and how the past champions have ranked up. Um, just by uh, one of the main stats they're looking at is offensive rebound percentage. Um, so I think they said, you're, you're going to have to check my research, but it was Kentucky, Villanova, North Carolina, and someone else for those top four. So that's how they do it this year. A number one seed has never lost first round. Um, a two has... Uh, only lost to a 15 eight times in, I think, 126 games. And last year, that actually did happen. Michigan State, Middle Tennessee, that was a bracket buster for me, I have to say. Um, but continuing on for this, um, Northwestern Vandy. Uh, you know I'm going Vandy because Northwestern, I do really like this school, but it's their first time in the tournament. They don't have that much experience. And Vanderbilt has actually beaten Florida twice this year. Um, and I'm really impressed with how they play. They shoot well. Um, they can get boards. They got a really good big guy. Um, I think his name's Luke. Oh, I got to look it up. But he's a seven-footer. Um, and he averages like 16, I think, maybe 18 a game. So I really like how Vanderbilt's looking. Maryland, they got Mellow Trimble. I like him a lot. FSU. Um, remember a couple years ago when Florida Gulf Coast made that nice run, um, but I don't think it could happen this year, um, unfortunately. St. Mary's, I know they played Gonzaga a little earlier. Don't know that much about VCU, so I'm taking them. And then Arizona. Moving on to the other side of the bracket, we got the other over number one. Um, the other number one overall seed, Kansas, Michigan State, Miami. <laughs> I like the Big Ten teams. So, actually, yeah, I don't know that much about Miami. Um, so, I'm taking Michigan State there. That might be a mistake. Iowa State over Nevada. Purdue um, is probably my favorite college in this whole tournament. I did go to the Purdue versus IU game this year, and they did win the Big Ten tournament, so that was pretty sweet. I don't 
I'm actually going to look at this right here. Yeah, I don't think I can see it right now. But I'm really not sure. I think that pick's a toss-up because Creighton... Actually, I think I'm going to go Rhode Island there. Because Creighton has really not been playing that well recently. Um, Michigan, Louisville, UNC. And then I'm going to take Seton Hall here. Um, just for fun. Middle Tennessee, that is one of the biggest upsets that the um, people from Sports Center are predicting, like Jay Billis and all those guys. Um, are really liking this Middle Tennessee team. I think they have 30 wins on this season. Um, and Minnesota, they were a decent team earlier in the season, but I feel like they've kind of gone downhill towards the later part of the year. So I'm going to take Middle Tennessee there. Butler over Winthrow, I think that's how you say it. And then I'm going to take... Wake Forest or Kansas State over Cincinnati there. UCLA, Dayton. Um, I remember I really liked that Wichita State team when Ron Baker um, and Fred Van Vliet were there. Uh, now Ron Baker's on the New York Knicks. And I don't know what, I think Fred Van Vliet is moving around the D-League. Maybe he got drafted. I don't think he went drafted, but... I think he was in the NBA for a little bit, um, but I'm not sure what happened to him. <clears throat> then we got Kentucky down there. Moving on to this side. So now the round of 32. I got Villanova going there. Um, <clears throat> I say Florida wins here. Actually, yeah, we'll go with Florida. Um, I just, actually, I don't know. I might come back to that pick because Florida has really been struggling. They can't beat Vanderbilt, which is kind of funny. Um, but they are, they were, they got up to low teens in the top 25 this year. Um, so I don't know how they're going to be in this tournament, but we got Baylor, we got Duke, we got Gonzaga beating Vandy. Um, we got Notre Dame, um, because I do like most teams from the state of Indiana. Um, Maryland over FSU. I, I'm really not sure about that pick, but I think I'm going to go Maryland for right now, and then we'll go Arizona. Coming back to this side, we got Kansas, we got Purdue over Iowa State, Oregon, and then this is an upset. I'm going Michigan over Louisville. Um, Michigan just won the Big Ten tournament. Uh, they actually beat Purdue, I think it was, it was early, first, second round. Um, and then actually Rutgers won a game, which was kind of crazy because they are not very good at all. And then Middle Tennessee, we got Butler. Um, and then UCLA, whoops, my bad. It's going to knock off Wake Forest or Kansas State just in case. <laughs> I get that pick wrong. Um, I want to have UCLA going on. And then Kentucky. So the way I look at this is you can pick an upset. Just make sure that if you're not confident in that team, there's always going to be a higher seed to play them in the next round. So if I'm looking at a 6-11 and I take the 11, you can see UCLA is a 3 seed, so they're probably going to get through the next round. So, and as you know, the... You get more points as the rounds go on, so it's not as big of a deal as picking an upset as getting the national champion right. Um, so that's going to be the big issue this year. And then this time I'm actually taking Notre Dame over Gonzaga. I think that's where Gonzaga's road ends at the Sweet 16. And we got Arizona, Notre Dame, and the Elite Eight. Moving on to this side of the bracket. I want to say Purdue goes on, but I think that's where their road ends. And that's where Michigan's road ends, I think, to Oregon. Um, they have, oh, I can't remember his name, but he is up for grabs for um, best player of the year. He won it in the Pac-12, number 24. I just can't picture his, um, can't remember his name. Actually, UNC Butler... 
I'm gonna have UNC. They're they're a flighty team. Um, UCLA Kentucky. Ooh, that would be a fun matchup. They played earlier in the season. It was a great game. But I think Mal Malik Monk and the boys will take down Lonzo Ball and um, Bryce Salford. And then I'm going to take Kentucky to the Final Four just because John Calipari and that experience they have there at the University of Kentucky. Villanova goes to the Final Four. Arizona. Arizona knocks them off, so I do not think they will go back-to-back. -back. Then I have Kansas, and we are going to take Kentucky, Arizona. Kentucky wins this, 72-68. to 68. That is my prediction, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Electric Eagle Gaming, um, and... I'm excited for March Madness. Peace. See you guys.